Hey guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 7 and 8 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tales. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Bryce is gonna go snoop. <laughs> No, no. Uh. What did I do? Something about this seems a little fake because, I mean, well, no. If he, the only reason he could probably be depressed is he still can't figure out how to make the sculpture and, or as detailed as on. Because Anz is very detailed and how she... There's some people who are very, very much detail-oriented. And that is on Jonas, to me, he tries, but he can't get to that level of perfection that On has, in my opinion. Or it just could be something else. He could just be having a bad day. But I still don't trust him. Even if he has a bad day. What else is she supposed to do? It looked fine. What, like more details on her eyes and her face? Watch him say no again. Same right too. Mm. It had to be a bruise as well. Oh my God.
but it looks literally a one-to-one -one exact replica of her. But what does he mean by give it form? Life? You want to put life into it? No way, yeah. Exactly. He wants the actual being of her. All right. Well, we try again. Good and Liz. I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, in a way, she's kind of like your first love. Yeah. No, on you are pretty. Don't say that. She's literally me because sometimes I don't even think I'm pretty. Oh, honey. Excuse me. Again, he is that desperate.
Mm-mm. I can't believe you're really saying this to him. can't tell you. I don't want this. I don't want that. But something tells me he knows. He gonna make her quit. You really are the lowest of low. But here's the thing, she she didn't give him his wing back. So he knows something fishy. He looks so pretty. You're giving me freaking Genshin fills with the damn music. Oh my god. Yeah, but... Jonas.
that fell. A beauty and the Beast type itch. Well, we have to now, like seriously. Mm hmm. No, she's just a hard worker, unlike you. Let's hope we never get to see him again. And then watch, you gonna come back. Yeah. seems like he's almost like extremely depressed slash angry and he just wants to stay in the confines of his own castle plus i think he's sick too I still think he fell in love with her. The light makes the picture look different. Maybe that's what it needs. It needs lighting. Oh!
Right? What about you? Do you want her to keep your wing just in case? Okay, so she has two wings, but I'm guessing because her hair is long, it was extremely hard to see. And that's why when you finally get that natural lighting, on was able to see what she see. Now, Jonas, once again, desperate, desperation, weak, man of a boy. I'm sorry. Like, boy literally was just over here begging and pleading for his life and trying to escape. But, of course, the Duke literally wanted no say into it. It's like, okay, it's making a deal and then never or a contract and never getting that quote-unquote freedom that you have or want again due to this situation and such. And the fact is, he's like, I just want to get out. You can have her. She got rid of, you know, Shadow. It's just her and Mithril. You can have her. I just don't need to be here anymore. I need to live my life. I don't want to spend the rest of my days and possibly die in here. But... If that's what it truly is, where it's two wings, uh, it makes so much sense. But I can see why both Jonas, anybody else who was possibly trying it on herself, myself included, couldn't recognize it at first. Because it's been so dark, damp, and depressing in that castle. Oh my god. <laughs> you my heart. I can't. Okay, as I was saying, it is a very dark and depressing castle because, yeah, there was once in a point a couple of episodes ago, or like two episodes ago, where um, it was semi filled with light and love and nurturing and caring. And it could have been like that all those years ago when that fairy possibly was still alive because I'm guessing something has happened to her to the point where she did perish and he did fall in love with her. Um,. And so now he, his whole, he feels like his whole demeanor and how he, you know, puts himself out there is very cold and mean and, um, not really evil, but also, um, a teeny tiny bit depressed and such. And so you can feel that aura when you're looking at like the whole, the castle as a whole, plus the atmosphere and the way like, um, you use colors to almost tell a story. And so once that natural lighting came in onto the picture, it feels like to me that was the fairy in the picture almost trying to bring herself back into it and saying, okay, let me finally give her a sign. The one thing that we're all clearly missing as of right now, which is light. It's almost like hope and love and such. And so whatever possibly happened to her, I do hope that we get that answer in the next episode because, I mean... It makes the most sense, but if they want to stretch it out for one more episode, so aka episode 9, that is okay. Honestly, I'm fine with that. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay, episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go.
Yes. pretty to keep her safe mm. He's just a, a lonely man, so just upset that he lost someone that he truly loved. I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. There's a picture of her. Because he loved her. Exactly. Of course, that's the same with anyone. He has so much sadness in him and he's taking it out as anger and lashing on at people. Mm -hmm. And because she's not here, no one can help him.
Of course, he gonna go back there. <laughs> of course. That's only because Jonas told her to tell you. Oh, uh, uh. It's a well, a life size version. Because he hasn't been doing his duties. Sir, you can't say that. Huh? I love him so much. I can't. It's too much. Oh my God.
to make him happy. We know! The life in his eyes. Sure. Stop. I mean, maybe in your mind, but... Mm. We're going to finish it. But an idiot you love, duh. Sir. <laughs> that's, a, that's a man. That's a man. Oh, man. Oh, I need him. <sighs> Black and gray make silver, duh? I mean, that's like the closest. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
But what about you? Did you see how quickly the life and the light in his eyes returned? Huh? Still got it taken though, that sucks. That's my way of them saying I love you to each other. I can't. I can't. God, I can't. Jesus, my heart. smiling again too Sweet. This was sweet. Oh, I'm so happy I had a happy ending. Oh my god. Like, I was so nervous. Like, Jesus, I'm thinking, like, she's not gonna finish in time. But the fact is, in the end, all he wanted was a life size sculpture of her. If we had only figured that out in the beginning, but no. Because, like, I'm like, every single time when her. And Jonas were just bringing in these teeny tiny ones and he kept saying, no, this is useless. No, 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 no. I don't think I'm thinking, what you want from her. And I never would have thought life size was the one he wanted, truly. But the fact is that once he looked at it and he saw Christina, the woman he fell in love with, that, that light. That aura, that happiness, that love that he had for her came back in his eyes. His eyes were alive again and everything. I can't. It's too much. Oh, my God. And then the fact that freaking shit, like, he ran to go get on. Like, not only that, this man, this man also hugged the hell out of her. Oh my god. It's too much. Too effing much. I cannot. This is only really 22 minutes. Jesus. Oh my god. Like, dang. I was expecting 24 minutes. Excuse me. But oh my god. I can't. 
I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I cannot with these two. And such. And, and the fact is, you know, Mithrova was like, like, instantly asked her, like, oh, you love him. And then, like, yeah. 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 In my heart. Like, it's too much. It's too much. I cannot too freaking much but I love it I love everything about it and such but I am glad that the Duke is he's happier now like to finally have the one thing that he wanted all along like it definitely does give you Beauty and the Beast vibes like very much but th this arc I think this is kind of really now my favorite I know definitely by the end of the series when I do finish this and whenever and i'm guessing it it was funimation who also did the dub for this i think um this is gonna be one that i'm definitely gonna have to buy on blu-ray because because something tells me because of the fact is of it being 24 episodes they're going to cut it in half to you know milk it but something also tells me they're gonna wait until the series is done which it already is but they're going to probably put all 24 all in one complete com collection, which I would love. I would rather them do that, but especially have I've had I cannot speak as I've seen in the past with other shows that they've done that have had twenty four episodes. In the end, they're going to release it in or in Blu Ray for two parts, which I get it. But still, like uh, the babies had the cutest chemistry moment. I was not expecting him to hug her, caress his face, her face and everything, like, help me, freaking help me, Lord, because I, I, that's what I wanted, like, oh, uh, God, besides my love of getting, receiving gifts and stuff, the, the caressing, the touch and everything, I get weak in the freaking knees, like, if you look at me dead in my eyes while you are, like, just caressing my face and just smiling at me. I fold. I fold. Freaking fold. Oh my god. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.